Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, we are looking at the volume buttons. Now, what I mean here is when you set up an iPhone, by default, your volume buttons control your ringer. And so you press them up and down, you can turn the ringer up and down. Pretty straightforward. But there is a way to make these volume buttons control only the volume of audio playing on the phone and not the ringer volume. And it's pretty simple to set up actually. So what we're gonna do here first is go into the settings app and open that up here. You wanna scroll down to sounds right here. When you tap on sounds, inside of here you'll see things like vibrate, ringtone, text tone, stuff like that. But right here under ringer and alerts, you'll see a little slider here where you can turn up and down the volume of the ringer. And then you'll see change with buttons. Now what that does is that allows me to move the ringer volume up and down using the side buttons here. But if I turn that off, this will no longer control that slider, but it will control the volume of my iPhone. So if you'd like to just control your volume, which is how I usually have mine set up, all you have to do is flip this switch from on to off. Then going forward, your volume buttons on the side will actually control the volume of audio playing from your device, whether that be a game, a movie, music, anything like that. If you want these buttons to control your ringer volume, you can just simply have that on and it will control the ringer volume. As you can see when we're outside of the settings app, it says ringer at the top. But once we have that off, you can see that it does not say ringer, it just shows the little volume icon here. I usually keep my phone on silent all the time. So having these buttons here control the default volume for apps and audio on my iPhone is definitely essential. And like I said, if you wanna change that yourself, you can do it very easily. So again, if you wanna change these buttons from controlling your ringer to controlling the volume of apps and audio on your phone, just go into your settings app here and go down to sounds. Once you're in sounds, you just want to set this change with button switch to off. That's it. Going forward, when you are using your phone, these buttons on the side here will control the volume of apps and audio instead of your ringer volume. So I hope this was helpful for everyone. If you have any suggestions for iOS advice, leave them in the comments below and we'll be sure to try and feature them in an upcoming video and article. Thanks again for watching. My name is Dom and this is iOS Advice. <laughs>